In this video, we will assume that you have installed the BotPress CLI, created an Heroku account, and installed the Heroku CLI. We will now create a new bot and deploy it to Heroku. First of all, open a command line window in an empty directory. Run the BotPress init command. You may accept the default choice for each questions. We need to create a local Git repository which will be used by Heroku for deployment. Type git init. Next, we need to add the files. Type git add. Then git commit. We are ready to deploy our bot. Type Heroku login, and provide your credentials. Type Heroku create to generate a random name for your app and set up your Git repository to deploy your bot remotely. The final step is to type git push Heroku master. This will take a couple of minutes. Heroku will fetch your code, build it and deploy it automatically on the cloud. Then you will be able to access your bot. Now you can copy the link provided and open it in your browser. The default password is password, but we will change it later. Your bot is now ready. Click on the chat icon on the upper right corner. And have a chat with your bot. Since Heroku has an ephemeral storage, we need to set up a persistent database if we want to customize our bot and keep our data. We will now set up a database and configure BotPress to use it. The commands you need to type are available in the description of this video. Type the add-ons command to set up the database, then the config command to make BotPress use the database. While we are at it, let's secure our bot. The admin password is set via the BotPress password environment variable. Go ahead and change it. That's it. You can set up your bot and make it productive. In this video, we have set up a new bot on the cloud. Configured it to use a database and secured it. Stay tuned for the next episode.